اعوذبلّیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قال اللہ تعالی فی کلام ہل مجید قطب رب کم اللہ نف سے ہل رحما وفی مقام آخر و رحمتی واسعت کل شاہ صدق اللہ العظیم بہانہ ڈھونڈتی پھرتی ہے رحمت مولا بڑی خطا ہے جو بندہ کوئی خطا نہ کرے اقبال فرماتے ہیں آن کتاب زندہ قرآن حکیم حکمت اولا دوالست و کریم بر خور از قرآن اگر خواہی سبات در دمیرش دیدہ ہم آب حیات مائی ڈیئر بردرز سسٹرز اینڈ بلاو چلڈرن السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فار سم ریزنس آئی ہیو ناٹ بین ایبل ٹو بی ود یو موسٹ آف دا رمضان دس ٹائم آئی مس مسجد النور آئی مس آل آف یو بٹ تھنگز آر وٹ دے آر اینڈ وی ہیو ٹو بی تھینک فل ٹو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ فار ایوری ڈے دیٹ وی گیٹ ان آر لائفس آئی وش رمضان مبارک ٹو آل آف یو tonight being 27th night of month of Ramadan. I wish I was with you, but at least in spirit, I am actually joining you in celebrating this beautiful night and hoping and expecting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness for all of us. I have quoted from Al-Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, خطب رب کم اللہ نف سے رحما اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ہیز میڈ اٹ آلموسٹ ابلیگیٹری اپان ہم سیلف دیٹ ہی ول شاور از مرسی اپان ہوس ویور ہو سیکس از مرسی سو مرسی آر آر بینگ ونیولنٹ از وٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ہیز کمیٹیڈ ہم سیلف ٹو سو آل وی ہیو ٹو ڈو از آسک فار از مرسی اینڈ ہی ول فور گیو اس And then he tells us in Surah Al-Araf that وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ And my mercy can encompass, can cover just about everything. So his mercy and his forgiveness and his compassion can cover everything. So there is nothing impossible when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes to grant his mercy. <clears throat> Now, I have quoted two verses from Iqbal in Persian, where Iqbal says about Al-Quran, which is the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we received in this month of Ramadan. Iqbal says, Aan kitab e zinda Quran e hakeem. That book, a live book, which we call, which we know as Quran e hakeem. Quran, the most wise, the full of wisdom. حکمت لا زوال است و قدیم دا وزڈم ان اٹ از ناٹ ٹو بی پیرشڈ از ناٹ ٹو ڈونڈل ناٹ ٹو ڈیمنش ناٹ ٹو ڈکریز اینڈ اٹ واز آلویز دیئر قدیم اٹ ہیز بین اٹرنل اینڈ اٹ ول نیور ڈکریز ان اٹس کانٹینٹ اینڈ دین ہی گیوز دا میسج ہی سیز بار خور از قرآن اگر خواہی سبات اف یو وانٹ ٹو ہیو این اٹرنل لائف and be somebody that cannot be um, decreased, diminished, or, or um, annihilated. If you want to have a, a eternal life, bar khur al Quran, then benefit from this, learn from it, read from it. Bar khur means eat of it. In other words, just consume it. If you want to have a, a safe, and persistent and eternal life. Why? Because dar da mirish didam abe hayati. That I have seen in it, in Al-Quran, abe hayat, something that if you imbibe or if you drink or if you take from it, it gives you eternal life. It's like abe hayat, that's skandari adam, that, that, uh, that ruler sometime wanted, wished to have so that he can live forever. If it 
if you learn, if you attach yourself and learn from and, and uh, live by the teachings of Quran, then you will live forever. Now, during this month of Ramadan, mashallah, when Ramadan started, we started to glorify Allah subhanahu ta'ala by during the Salat of Tarawih when we said Subhanakal, Subhanadil Mulke Wal Malakut. After glorifying Allah subhanahu ta'ala, at the end we asked for Ajirn, Allahumma Ajirna minan nar. O Allah subhanahu ta'ala, save us from hellfire. Then in the first 10 days we continued to invoke mercy of Allah subhanahu ta'ala by saying, Rabbi firwarham wanta khairul rahimin. O Allah, forgive us and be merciful to us because you are the most kind, most merciful. Then in the middle 10 days we kept repeating, Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli zambin. We were just asking for repentance of our sins and mistakes and we were being, uh, we were asking for his mercy and for his forgiveness. In the last 10 days, we were saying, Allahumma inna ka afofun tuhibul afwa fa'afu anni ya kareem. We were saying, oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you love to forgive, you are the forgiveness and we are asking for your forgiveness, O oh, most kind, most merciful. After doing all of that, we are, we are now told to be attached to the message that we received throughout the month of Ramadan. Most of us that were lucky to be listening to uh, recitation of our Quran during Taraweeh prayers uh, benefited from the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, if we were to follow what we have learned during this month and continue to attach ourselves with our Quran, read it, learn from it and live our lives by it, then mashallah we have gotten the guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has reserved for us, has given us and with that guidance, with that book of Hidayah, we can live our lives. Um, there is so much that we can do after we have gone through this month of Ramadan, whereby during the day we don't eat things that are otherwise halal for us. We keep ourselves from all those things, just remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and uh, following His uh, commands and orders and keeping really from saying anything that is untruthful, uh, doing any riba for anybody, not cursing, not using foul language, not seeing things that are not supposed to be seen during the day, giving charity as much as we can, giving off what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. All of these lessons that we learned during the month of Ramadan, now we are supposed to carry it throughout of the rest of the year. And that is the beauty of how um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this, this month of Ramadan to really train us for the rest of our lives the medical benefits of it, the way Ramadan itself really give, rejuvenates our body, rejuvenates our mind, gives us the kind of concentration that uh, humans need, human body needs, so that it can basically uh, refresh itself. Uh, it's amazing. The wisdom behind uh, fasting is, is far beyond our understanding. So suffice it to say that we have to basically uh, depend on uh, dictates of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and do as uh, he had asked us to do and the rest of the life for us is really full of blessings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, forgive our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give us the ability to understand his message, live by it and give this message, pass this on to our future generations so that we have done our part in uh, propagating the message of Islam to the future generations. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be merciful and compassionate to us. And may he give us the, the, the vision and the ability so that we can live our lives according to the way that is pleasing to him. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum. And, and